Hello and welcome back to another video today. We've got another episode of the Crystal Palace Football Manager Save. Today we've got two big games in the Carabao Cup second leg of the semi-final against Brighton and also a game against Tottenham in the league. But let's see how we've done off camera. Obviously last time we met was the Ajax 4-0 demolition job and then after that we also saw the result of the 2-1 victory against Sheffield United. And after that in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. I know I said I was going to play a weak side, and I played a weaker side, but not necessarily a weak team. And somehow we pulled off a win. We pulled off a 1 0 victory against Liverpool. We've done it again. We've beat Liverpool again. Would have preferred it to be in the league, really, but I thought I might as well push for this Carabao Cup, considering I saw the other teams in it. I thought I might as well go for it and try and win it again this year. And then we faced City in the league, and we drew 0 0, which ain't the worst result. Played a strong squad. Both teams just keep counter attack, like counteracting each other, so it weren't the worst thing. Then we faced Watford. Jose Roberto started this game and he scored two goals in the 79th and 95th minute. Uh, again, just deserved to win on Boxing Day. Love it. Then we faced Liverpool in the league this time and we was 1-0 up in the 23rd minute from Hill. But then unfortunately, they did equalise with Marcos Antonio in the 76th minute to confirm the 1-1 draw. But... We actually played quite well in this game. It was unlucky that we didn't win. So maybe we're on that level now of challenging Liverpool more. Then we faced Wolves. Jose Roberto in the 90th minute clutched us to victory. I loved that from Jose Roberto coming off the bench this time. Wait, did he come off the bench against Watford? No, he did start against Watford, sorry. But yeah, this time he came off the bench and he bagged us the goal. 1st of January, great start to the new year. Then we faced Port Vale and I played a very weak side. A lot of academy boys who all played very, very well in my opinion. Uh, Koch is an academy boy scoring in the 7th minute. And then Freddie Church, obviously another academy boy scoring as well. But yeah, we had a lot of academy players and we just we was always going to beat Port Vale in my opinion. Then we faced Brighton. We didn't play in this. We played quite a strong side against Brighton. Jose Roberto bagging again and then Bellingham also getting us a goal. Win, making it, letting us win 2-0 against Brighton. A lovely, lovely victory again. So it puts And it was away from home, so this time we'll be at home. It's put us in good stead for the second leg. Then we faced Norwich. We absolutely dominated again, winning 4-0. Bellingham getting another goal. Eric Pliska also getting a goal, finding his feet in um, England a lot more now. Jose Roberto getting another goal, this time starting again. And Ruzic also slotted away a penalty. Then we faced Nottingham Forest and Matthews scored a hat-trick in the second minute, the 20th minute and 51st minute score. And Jose Roberto also getting another goal. He's been on fire, to be fair to him. And then another academy boy. I played a couple of academy boys against Nottingham Forest because they are bottom of the table. And um, yeah, uh, an academy boy, Neil Davis, who played very, very well, got a 9.3 rating. If um, Matthews didn't get a hat-trick, Neil Hat Davis would have got man of the match. But yeah, it was a lovely, lovely performance for the boys again. Then we faced Watford and Jose Roberto had scored again for us. He started again. He just scored in the 67th minute to confirm us to win. We deserved to win as well, so it was a good result. Then I faced the championship side, Barnsley, and Brian got a hat trick 57th minute, 72nd, 83rd minute. Um, and then Neil Davies getting another goal for, for his, the club he supports, I'm going to go for. And also Sturrup also getting a goal, so two academy boys again getting two nice goals but anyway let's get into this Brighton game but before actually because January hasn't ended there has been some outgoings and some ingoings the first sale was Karamoko Dembele has left the club I think it was 30 million he just wasn't getting played enough and I just feel like it was best and also getting was it 30 million yeah it can rise up to 30 million we bought him for 7.5 million he's just average at everything in my opinion I feel like we could get we've got better players in now He's still only 22, but to get nearly 30, well, getting up to 30 million from a different country, I'll take that all day long. And then Peter Stanticity also has left the club. We um, got better left backs now, much better left backs in my opinion. And they want uh, he's on, he was on loan at Hoffenheim anyway. I know he's right, he got 22 million value now, but he weren't going to get played that much when he come back. So to get 12.5 million, considering what did we buy him for? Let me check quickly. We got him on a cheap deal. Yeah, 4.8 million. He was only here for one year. Played 16 games. 
but we sold him for 12.5 and he won't even playing that well on loan so I don't know why they wanted him then Alexandro somehow we've got a profit for him 2.6 million to uh, Fl- Flusimer I'm not sure what club it is because obviously I don't say it but it's Fla but yeah 2.6 uh, million for someone because obviously I, I have got better left backs and he's getting on a bit he was playing a decent amount but once they come in with the offer of this I just thought I might as well cash out while I can then um, Gustav Marquise never hit the ground running in my opinion we got 12, 12 million for him I felt like maybe if we held on for one more year we could have got more but he weren't playing at all like I think we've had him here for three seasons now how long we had? yeah three seasons and he's collect- he's played two off the bench this year and he only played four last year so he he's played he had a decent average rating like last year this year was he couldn't do much he was only off the bench so he's gone to the championship side Bournemouth 12 million after we've gone for 600k I'll take that then Manolas I think he played one game the whole year and we've somehow got cash for him we've got 1.1 million sign him on a free oh no yeah he's played two games one off the bench but yeah, we've got 1.1 million from Young Boys. Cash out on him. He weren't good enough medal last for us. Uh, considering we're challenging the title now. Just it's, it's decent, decent, decent to get some money for him. And then um Fasiu has gone out on loan, gone to Huddersfield for the rest of the year, which is a Premier League side, which is quite key. Obviously, as you can see, he only played five games last year, going for 15 million. Probably could sell him for a profit next year. It just all depends how he does on loan. Then, the signing, Charlie Ambassador, left back, better than Navarre now, and he, like his current ability, I don't know why it does this, but his current ability, yeah, it's better, his determination is good, he's quick, his position is brilliant, his teamwork work rate is quite good, concentration is good, anticipation is good, he's agile, he's got good balance, he's even got good jumping reach, he's quite strong, his tackling is brilliant, technique, marking, passing, crossing, dribbling, play wing back, he can do it. And we got him on, like now he's worth 52 million. He's only 20 years old. And we got him for 36 million. He's the biggest signing we had. And he can go up to 40 million. But he's been playing well at Bayern this year. I'm surprised they actually let him go. I think it's a very good signing. Not necessarily needed. But now we've got two quality left backs in a lot of games what we've got this year. All right, here we go. I'll sort out this lineup and then we'll see what we're going to do. All right, we go. Here is the lineup for the Brighton game. We've got Liverpool in goal. Uh, meant I might do I go for Ramsdale? I, yeah, we'll give Ramsdale a run on actually. And then we got Mensa in at right back, Gibby and Bruno at centre back together, Bright at left back, Kaladi, Syrup and Hill making the midfield free, Pliska, Matthews on the wings, and Brian up top all by himself with Livakovic, Wambasaka, Victor, Ruzik, Bellingham, Church and Jose Roberto all on the bench. Um, team talk passion or assertively actually. We can't allow complacency. Assertively, I have faith in you. Assertively, I have faith in you. Assertively, I have faith in you. And the centre assistant. Let's go, boys. Come on. Rams down to Gibby. Gibby to Shura. Kaladi. Bruno. Drives forward into the space. Plays out left to Matthews. Can he beat his man and then cross it? Hopefully. He does beat his man. He gets tackled. It looks like it'll be a free kick, I think. I was going to say. I'm surprised that this year where we're battling for so much that I've actually played a lot of the youngsters. Like, got Mensa, who's the right back. And he's a decent right back. Could, could actually become something, in my opinion. I feel like he could be a good, at least sub right back. Only 18 years old. We've got Syrup, who's a decent like hard working midfielder and that Neil Davis is also a good midfielder in my opinion who's all, he's injured at the moment unfortunately but they're three players I think could, could make a big big part like Freddie Church has in the, this season oh, and Pliska I'm going to just take him off can't risk the injury talking about Freddie Church we'll bring him on now anyway uh, let's put him on support instead of attack actually on the wing Freddie Church now on the ball. He gets fouled by time, and is it going to be a red? It is a red. We're down to 10 men. They do bring on, or well, they put someone over onto the left back now, though. But their midfield's going to be compact, or not compact enough. We're going to have a lot of people on there. 
the ball's in our court. We don't have to push for this win. That's why I've gone for weaker players. Don't get me wrong, I haven't gone for a, like a really weak side. Um, don't look at the scoreboard. Yeah, I haven't played a, like a very weak side, but I'm playing a weaker side. Just because I might as well. We've got 2-0 victory. We are better than Brighton, in my opinion, not mattering if a couple of youngsters are playing. So I've just... I've gone for the mentality as well that these are academy boys. They should want to beat Brighton. But they have got a highlight now, Brian Bustos. Bustos. Gets tackled Sal. Back to Bustos. Back to Sal. Who cross in the art. And Ramsdale does gather it. Highlight continues here, though. Plays out wide to Matthias. Back to Hill. Hill's been a brilliant player this year. He's on a big wage now as well, though. But Matthias getting it back from Hill. Back to Caladé. Hill. Can he play it out to Bry? He does play it to Bry. Matthias shoots and it's a goal. Sixth goal of the year. Three coming in one game, so he scored three outside that one game. But it's getting his sixth goal of the year. What a finish. Lovely counter-attacking after Brighton having a chance himself. Look at that. Just patient and build up from us. Hill just playing out to Bry, the left back. Young left back as well. Matthias just shoots and his side netting. Keeper's not getting that at all. Matthias does cross it in now. Back post. Brian. And it is a goal. Is it an own goal? It is an own goal. Andy Smith getting an own goal for Brian. So it's 4-0 on Aggut, 2-0 on the night. Matthews with another lovely corner. Brian headers it straight at the keeper. They try and clear it. Hits the defender and it goes in. It's, un it's unlucky on their part. Just to save injury, I'm going to take Bruno off. And I'm going to bring Victor on. Not having the best game, Bruno. Not having a bad game. Had a clean sheet. But I might as well just bring on Victor just to keep... Bruno fit for the Tottenham game. And I am going to take Brian off, I believe. Bring Jose Roberto on because I can. Ramsdale playing to Gibby. Let me zoom it out a bit. There we go. Mensa getting it to Hill. Back to Church. What's he going to do? He drives forward. Can he cross it? No, lays it off to Mensa. I think he did get tackled actually. Mensa to Kaladi. He shoots. Ends up with Freddie Church and he's goal. Comes off on the bench. And Freddie Church finished it. Eighth goal of the year. Had a big injury at the start of the year. So it's, it's nice to see him still being able to score. The number 40. Yeah, that would meant to just laying off Caladé. Does shoot. Deflects off our own player. And Church is the first one to pick it up. Technically, Sturrup has actually set up Freddie Church. But it's gone down as Caladé's assist. But what can you do? 5-0 on aggregate. 3-0 on the night. Two minutes added on. It does look like we are going to win because we have dominated that game and we deserve that win. Passionately tell them, congratulations boys, you're in the final, which we are. I'm pleased with your defensive work, we secured us the win. I'm very happy with your efforts in the midfield and I'm very happy with your efforts in the final. Third, look at that, 42 games unbeaten this year. It's a new record. Every game we win or don't lose from now on, it's just a, it's a new record each game. It's United, they win 3-0. We have beat United this year. I think we've still got to play them again. Yeah, where is it? Where do we? Yeah, we beat them 4-1. Somehow, I do not know, but we beat them 4-1. But then we also, where, where have we got to play them afterwards? We've got them last game of the year as well. So this is, it's a big cup final, but we've already won the Carabao Cup. We don't mind it too much. I'm not going to play a weak, weak side, but there we go. That'll probably be the next episode after... This Tottenham game will probably be this Carabao Cup final. But we love to see it. We got this, boys. Come on. All right, we've got the Tottenham game ready now. But before, there was another ring going. I've signed Joe Gomez. Now, he's on a very big wage, I know this. And he's not the best player at our club currently. But experience and English quota is what's needed. 49 million could go up to 60 million, don't get me wrong. But... He's played quality all, like the whole save. Like I said, for the English quota, and also some experience for the, the back four. This could be what we needed, and we took one of Liverpool's defenders away from him. So, it, <laughs> I'm excited, because we might have ruined Liverpool. Alright, here is the lineup for the Tottenham game. We've got Liverpool and goal, Wamasaka at right back. Victor and Bruno go and centre back together, and Bassa. Going at left back, Ruzik, Hill and Bellingham make up midfield three. Poliska 
on the left, oh right, sorry, Mathias on the left and Jose Roberto up top with Ramsdale, Gomez, Navor, Caladi, Adley, Church and Klaas Amaro all on the bench. Gomez can only go 45 minutes and Navor can only go 75 minutes so they will both start on the bench because of fitness. Passionate so actually no, we'll go assertively again. The media have given you a lot of credit, assertively I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Let's go boys, we got this. Ambassador to Hill, back to Ambassador. Bruno, all the way back to Livakovic now. Back to Bruno, to Ruzic, Bruno, Hill. Play the Matthews, loses out though to Axel. But we keep on to the ball now, Hill, spraying over to Pliska. Bellingham drives forward, beats one, beats two, shoots, and Merrick does tip it over around the post. As you can see, we're on 63 points for Liverpool on 57, but this will mean we'll let have a game in hand on us. Throwing for Tottenham now. Jones back to Mukundi in Dombele to Deli Alley. Shoots. Victor and it's foul. Victor's just fouled them in the box. Bennett we're giving away. Deli Alley steps up. Can Liverpool it say? No, it's a good penalty. Good finish. Deli Alley just slotting it bottom corner. Better than the free kick. Plays it in. Bruno getting his second goal of the year. Brilliant finish. Great cross from Bellingham there. You know, Bruno just making a perfect run. Not long after Tottenham as well. 14 minutes, it's 1 1. Throwing for them, Berda. But Jose Roberto does intercept, plays it back to Hill. Drives forward, tries to play it back post. Bellingham to Pliska. It does get deflected. Ferguson. Jones getting in now, but Jose Roberto. Oh! 12th goal of the year. He's getting up there with top goal scorer. He's took, kept Klaas and Mario out of this um, out of this team. And the thing is, if we signed Jose Roberto on that free, Klaas and Mario probably wouldn't even be at this club. But and this is why I wanted Jose Roberto on that free. Imagine if this was a free transfer. It'd be so so great. Two one at half time. Bruno and Jose Roberto getting goals. I'm very happy with how it's going. Keep it up. Certainly you weren't that bad, but I know you can do better passionately. Happy with your efforts in midfield and passionately. I'm very happy with your efforts in final third. Somehow he looks switched off because I praised him. Makes no sense. That is now with free kick similar to where similar to where Bellingham took his when we got our goal and they do get a goal. Only two minutes after half time. End on Bele. It's another great ball from them to be fair. And Emdon Bele jumps highest. Livkovic, I don't know why he's come out for it. He's never getting there, he's in no man's land. Let's get it's not offside, let's be honest. 61st minute though. I'm gonna take Pliska off and I am gonna bring Freddie Church on. I might no, I won't take Ambassador off yet. Give him a little bit longer. I'm gonna take Ambassador off now and bring Navor on to try and get him some match fitness. I don't have to make another attacking change. I think I am going to take Klaus, bring Klaus and Mario on, sorry, and take Mafias off though. Free kick for them, Ferguson, Tom Dombele. Plays over to Klaus and Mario, does intercept. Now he drives forward. Can he try and try and get his first team place back? It's going to be a free kick. I don't think it is a penalty. It is a free kick. Do we see the free kick? We do. Back post, and no one can get there, unfortunately. Merritt though with goal kick playing to Ferguson. Plays it at M Mkindi. Mkundi. Bellingham with tackle, but they get, they get it back. Deli Alley now. Drives forward, gets tackled by Bellingham. Great, great tackle. Class and Merritt now driving forward. Plays it back to Hill. He's Brazilian. Back to the Argentinian. Back to the Brazilian Hill. To Navor. Can he cross it? He does. Freddie Church! Oh, you've got scored at Freddie Church. It looks like he's going to finish 2 2. Which ain't the worst result. Like I said, we still got a point advantage. We are currently six points, but if they win, then they'll they'll make it three, Liverpool. 
Uh, calmly, you were unlucky today. I'm not happy with your defensive work. Certainly, you were unlucky today. It was a good effort, though. Certainly, you were unlucky today. And look at that, he's going to get 65k from 20 league appearances. He's earned it, though, because he's got 12 in 12 starts, basically, when you think about it. But, obviously, next time, like I said earlier on in the episode, it will be that Carabao Cup final against Manchester United. It's going to be a big game, because we've also got the Champions League games being played around it. But, yeah, Man United will be the next time we meet up. But thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you could share this video out, it would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you all later.